Yo, what's good? So today I'm going to be showing off a solo PvE build that I've been running that I've been really liking. Um, it's an AR build slash LMG build. You get, we'll get into why that is. Um, first, let's go over the guns. So we have AG36 that is almost god roll for what we're using. It's got almost 100k damage. 14% assault rifle damage, which could only be a percent better, so that's really good. 21% health damage, 10% damage to targets out of cover, and killer. And killer is very good for solo play. Next we have the Stoner LMG, which is 100k damage. Very low rate of fire, but it, it hits hard, so that's fine. LMG damage, damage to targets out of cover, and health damage. That's what I would want on it with strain. So I rolled strain instead of act actually increasing the LMG damage on it because I use this for bigger heavy dudes so I'm gonna be firing most of my 235 round mag so getting 50% extra critical hit damage is very very good we're using the Coyote's mask this is like a no-brainer for solo play it's one of the best masks in the game for solo play um, 15 weapon damage 5.9% crit chance and 12% critical hit damage. I got very lucky with this. I got a very good roll on it. You can only get 0.1% critical hit chance better. Um, the chest piece we're using is a Alps Summit. And it gives us 20% repair skill. We have a skill tier. We have weapon handling and critical hit chance. A repair skills mod with glass cannon. So I had to roll glass cannon on this. I did not get glass cannon on the chest anyway if I had my choice it would be to have the skill tier critical hit damage critical hit chance repair skills and the glass cannon but unfortunately I did not get that the holster we're using is a group of sombra gives us 15% critical hit damage max weapon damage at 15% I wish I had more critical hit damage but you know just way of the road I guess 9.1 per 9.1% there and 5.7% critical hit chance. My backpack, I got really lucky with. I got what I wanted on the backpack, just a couple of percentage short on the critical hit chance. So we're using a Richter and Kaiser backpack. 20% incoming repairs. Remember, this is a solo build. We have the skill tier, critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and incoming repairs mod with concussion. Headshots increase total weapon damage by 10% for a second and a half, 5 seconds with a marksman rifle. Headshot kills increase total weapon damage by 15% for 10 seconds. So these two actually stack. If you get a headshot kill, you have that 15% for 10 seconds. But if you then hit another headshot, you get an additional 10% for a second and a half. So that's 25% damage from this talent. It's, it's kind of misleading. Um... Then we have the contractor's gloves, the LMG damage we're kind of benefiting from here, even though we don't use it a whole lot. Uh, weapon damage, damage to armor, and critical hit damage. I wish I could have more critical hit damage. Um, that would be what I would have better with this piece. Uh, next we have the fox spare knee pads. Uh, rifle damage. Sometimes we benefit from this if we switch to my M1A that I use. And... Let's see where they go. There they are. Um, weapon damage, damage targets out of cover, and critical hit damage. Again, I would like a bit more critical hit damage, which I can roll once I get a better roll. Um, but nonetheless, that is what we're using. So if we go to the statistics sheet, our weapon damage is almost 70%, which is fairly good for a solo build with some good healing. We have almost 41% critical hit chance. And almost 110% critical hit damage. Now remember, I don't have any critical hit damage on my chest piece. So this could be anywhere from 10 to 12% better. So that's very, very good. Armor damage, we have 8%. Health damage is 21% because we are using an AR. Um, so if we go to the skills, our drone skill is tier 3. We have 230 second duration. We have 44%. 44,000 healing, sorry. And if we go to our hive, 
healing hive, we have 150,000 healing. But this isn't really accurate because the incoming repairs that I have on this backpack, it doesn't actually show up on the stat sheet. So I get 40% extra damage from this. So that's about 200 and something thousand, maybe a little more. Um, another alternative you could use with the J36 is Reformation. Headshots grant 30% skill repair for 15 seconds. This is a very good talent for this, uh, but I just I personally like the extra damage that I get from Killer. Extra critical hit damage. Um, the Liberty is what we use as a pistol. This is a perfect roll. I really, really enjoy this pistol. Um, I only use it obviously when I'm using the um, the 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 thing that on that you have to get like pistol kills first for your ammo. Um, for the specialization, we're doing technician now. I just started upgrading my technician actually for this build specifically, so I don't have a whole lot completed on it, but I got the main parts of it. So I got the 10% increased healing. I've got the 12% damage to drones, skill proxies, and robotics. <clears throat> I've got the extra skill tier. This is huge. This is why we're using this specialization in particular. We got AR damage and LMG damage. Once I upgrade it more, I'm going to throw the marksman, or the, the rifle damage on there. Just to have it when I use my M1A. But other than that, uh, that is it. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Um, please remember to sub if you are not. Uh, hit the like button if you enjoyed. Hit the dislike button if you didn't enjoy. That's totally fine too. Let me know how I'm doing. Um, I will leave links to my Discord, to my clan's community Discord, and a couple of my social links too. So feel free to check those out. And we'll see you in the next video.